I'm the terror you can't escape, the fear you can't outrun. My story is a nightmare you can't wake up from. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a horrible clown. I admit it. I just don't let go. But okay, send in the clown and let's get the show on the road. Last time we presented you several early designs for local variables. And we continue with the final entry. A design by John R. Hayes, the man who created the famous ANS4 test suites. It's a very complex piece of software, which requires several redefinitions of standard Ford words to make it work and adds the concept of scopes, which have to be managed manually. Frankly, I don't see what makes it functionally or syntactically superior to the Henning Hansen solution. I really don't. But we'll encounter the name of John R. Hayes again later on. It's clear that the Ans Ford committee really struggled with locals, as this conversation illustrates. The applications for which fourth is best do not need local variables. They do need a standard. They have a place here. Dark corners yield bad decisions. Yeah, whatever is necessary to stop a recurrence of the fourth 83 debacle. Anything can claim to be 83 standard. Is the standard too loose? There are simply some things that I don't want included. Like locals. Well said no locals. Why no locals? Locals make fourth almost as powerful as integer C. Ha ha. Very funny. They admit as much in the annex of the resulting standard. The technical committee has had a problem with locals. It has been argued forcefully that Hans Ford should say nothing about locals. Since the technical committee has been unable to reach a strong consensus on either leaving locals out or on adopting any particular vendor syntax, it has sought some way to deal with an issue that it has been unable to simply dismiss. Forcefully. That's not a word you often encounter in a technical standard. The most obvious solution would have been to pick the best one, the one that fitted Ford best. And if the best people had made that decision, that just might have happened. But this quote from the annex casts a dark shadow over that assumption. Locals are at best non-trivial to implement in a portable and useful way. Note it says non-trivial. And as we've illustrated, a viable local solution can be implemented with a single line of code, in a portable and practical way. The Henning Janssen code proves that without a shadow of a doubt. It can even be implemented in an oddball compiler like Ford. There are rumors that Chuck Moore left the committee because of locals. And it's true there was no love lost between Chuck Moore and locals. On numerous occasions, the creator of Ford vented his unmitigated opposition to locals. Local variables are not only useless, they are harmful. I don't see any use for local variables. It's bad, it's wrong. Don't use locals. Don't come up with new syntaxes and new schemes for implementing them. If your thing is locals, you may not like my opinion on that subject. But no, as a matter of fact, Chuck left because he couldn't reach consensus about the adoption of Ford next his pet replacement for do loop. Anyways, it resulted in the local words that we know today, derived from Creative Solutions Macford, which made nobody happy. And consequently, the result was barely used. Which was wonderful, of course. Every now and then it popped up in some Rosetta Code challenge, which was often quickly converted to a true Ford version by a slightly more capable Ford enthusiast like this recursive version of the Levenstein distance algorithm. This is the C version. Now, this is a Ford version with locals. Can you see the difference? And this is the Ford version without locals. This is how true Forders appraised it. Now, which version is more Ford-like? Which version do you think reflects the Ford values and philosophy best? Right, I knew you'd say that. But the forces of evil weren't done yet, introducing Ford 2012. The only word in the local word set that could reasonably be used in a program was locals bar. But sea lovers found it too awkward to use, because it created local variables in reverse. That is, if you want to make Ford look like integer C. 
because you've never seen things being processed in reverse in Ford. So John Hayes came up with an idea that resembled integers C a little more. Its syntax is remarkable like Peter Ross's design, which was essentially based on the stack diagram comment, although it also contains elements from Ed and Devitt's implementation. And that one made the cut, which is quite astonishing given it requires the entire ANS94 local word set to function in the first place. I mean, you could replace both with one single line. So, talking about overhead and needlessly complicated implementation, it's a shame it's one used mid's opportunity, because standards are hard to change, because nobody wants to break existing code. I want this syntax, and now I'm getting it, no matter what. Well, you got it. Are you happy now? You really think you're a better Ford programmer? I don't think so. I don't think that you're Ford programmer at all. Not because you can't write syntactically correct Ford, I think you can. But you don't think like a Ford programmer. And that's why you always get worse results. You see? You see? You're stupid minds! Stupid! Stupid! Funny enough, the best Ford programmers I know have all written their own Ford. And maybe that's the incentive you need. Maybe putting that blasted piece of code you created to work is all the motivation you need to try again and again and again and again. Until it actually works for you. Maybe that's it, I don't know. For a previous video I came across a page where a newbie had documented his first experiences with Ford. And he said he had problems converting the simple piece of code to proper Ford. I mean, he got it going. But it didn't feel like Ford. And sometime later the same problem popped up again on Usenet, with several people submitting their solutions. One of them thought it was time for an optimizing compiler in locals. It gave rise to deep stack operators and increasingly unreadable solutions. Which is totally unnecessary. This is all you need. It's a small word set comprised of a handful of one-liners. Perfectly readable. Perfectly understandable. You can even use it for different size vectors by simply defining one single constant. So who needs local variables? Only those poor souls who just don't get it. And ending on that positive note, I'm Hans Bezemer and this was Back and Forth.